You're about to learn how to create incredible video title screens just like this using AI. Now, title screens are a great way to segment your content, announce a chapter, and add a little bit of pattern interrupt within your videos. And you can use title screens in all types of content, such as documentaries, YouTube videos, and even AI short films. And in this video, I'm going to walk you step by step through how to create your own AI video title screens. And we're going to start with making the prompts, then we're going to generate the images, then we're going to talk about upscaling, and also then turning that into a video for your content. And we're even going to then take it one step further and add maybe a little bit of music or sound effects to that video title screen so it appears normally and naturally within your videos. So the very first step to create our realistic title screens is to create the perfect prompts so the text looks like it's a part of the scenery of the title screen we're creating because we don't want to just generate a video and then slap some text on top. No, we want the text to look like it's a part of the world that we create for our title screen. And so the very first thing you want to come up with is the text that you want to put on your title screen. And this can be anything from the name of your AI short film to the name of the chapter within your video. So let's say I was making a documentary called Behind the AI. I would go ahead and simply type out Behind the AI into this GPT and this is the text that I want to appear onto my title screen. And now you'll notice that once I send it, I get two extra parameters that the GPT is asking me for. It's asking me for the environment or the setting that the text should appear in and then also the style. Now I want this to be photorealistic and then for the environment, can imagine my text maybe being on a a computer screen within a dark office. And so for the setting, I've written on a computer screen with a dimly lit office appearing like code. And then for the style, I want it to be photorealistic. And then I simply send this off. Now you'll notice that the GPT is going to return multiple prompts. The first is going to be the image prompt. And this is the prompt that I want to then go and generate the image with. And then we get video prompts. And these prompts are optimized for Google's Imagine 4. And then the video prompts are optimized for Kling's 2.5 Turbo. So the very first thing I would do is actually copy the image prompt. Then we simply head to the image generator of our choice. And here we're using FreePick. And we want to go ahead and select the image model, Google, Imagine 4, and here I'm gonna select Imagen 4 Ultra, and then I simply paste in the prompt that we got. And now I just make sure that I set the aspect ratio to the same aspect ratio as my video, and so my video is going to be 16 by nine. I select that, and then we simply click Generate. And while we wait for that to generate, I just wanted to mention that we don't have to use the custom GPT. You can just reuse this prompt and simply replace the parameters that are within square brackets, such as the text that you want to appear on the video, the setting, and then also the aesthetic and style of your your title screen. And now if we go back to FreePick, we can see that our image has just generated and we've got behind the AI written on a computer monitor surrounded by some nice code within a dimly lit office. And just remember that this is AI. And so if you don't get the exact result you're looking for, don't hesitate to regenerate it a few different times. And just to show you what's possible here, here's a bunch of different examples that I've created using this exact workflow. But once you've found the image you like and that you want to use as the video title screen within your video, you want to go ahead and upscale it because you'll notice that Google Imaging 4 Ultra generates our resolution of 1,408 by 768 pixels. And so here we simply want to click on upscale and then we're going to go ahead and upscale this. And we just want to make sure that we have increased the scale factor so it's at a resolution that we're happy with. And down here we can see the final size, which is 2,816 by 1536. And because I'm creating a video in 1920 by 1080, this resolution is going to be fine for me. But you always want to upscale before before you turn it into a video. You generate the image, upscale, generate the video, upscale again. This is how you create AI content that has a good resolution. And so here I click upscale. Now, while that's upscaling, we can go back to the custom GPT and here we have a bunch of different prompt variations. And these are essentially different prompts to get different kind of results for our title screen. And so here, as you can see, we've got camera slowly pushes forward towards the monitor from across the dark office. Lines of code scroll, and then the words behind the AI gradually assemble from the moving text. And now this one might not work as well, because as you can see here, it says gradually assemble from moving text. And the starting image that we're using already has the text on the screen. But again, this is AI, we could go ahead and try it. And so you choose which prompt variation you like the best. You go ahead, you copy it, it, and then we can head back to FreePick or whatever AI tool you are using. And then here we can click on the image and now we're going to click create video. And this is where we want to input the prompt. 
Now, FreePick automatically creates a prompt, but we have the custom one from the GPT. So I'm just gonna paste that in. I'm gonna make sure it's at the resolution that I want. And as you can see, we are at five seconds and 16 by nine. If I wanted to, I could increase this to 10, but for video title screens, most of the time, five seconds is long enough. After that, we just check that the model is correct. And so here we've selected Clean 2.5 because this custom GPT optimizes the prompts for Clean 2.5. And then we simply select the resolution. I'm creating a video in 1920 by 1080. So this is perfect. And then the duration, I like to choose five seconds because 10 seconds is most often too long for video title screens. But if you want six or seven, you can generate 10 and then just trim it off a little bit in the editor. And then by default, it's set to 16 by nine. And here we simply click generate. And now it's finished generating. And as you can see, if we take a look, we have our title screen on the computer with the moving code exactly as we described within our prompt. Now this is AI. So again, you go ahead and generate it until you get the exact result I like. And then you could even go in and actually customize the video prompt that you were given. So for example here, I would have liked a little bit more movement on the actual text behind the AI. And so I would then include that into the prompt until I get what I want. And now a final step is if you are using this in 4K projects, you would have to go and upscale this video once again. So we generate the image, upscale the image, generate the video, upscale the video. And now when it comes to then including these into your projects, you can go ahead and download the video. And I'm just going to open up a tutorial of mine. And as you can see here, this is a video that I've generated and upscaled using AI. And it fits perfectly into the tutorial as a title screen, because this is the AI workflow that I've been using for quite some time. And now you'll notice if I play it back, but I mute the audio of AI SEO. It sounds quite empty, but now if I unmute the audio tracks and we listen back to it, to rank in LLMs with AI SEO. As you can see, it feels much more alive, right? And it's much more intriguing. And so here I've done two things. I've added music and I've also added sound effects. And I did that with 11 apps. And so the very first one I added in was this reverse symbol effect right here. And to do that in 11 labs, I simply clicked on the sound effects generator and then I simply typed in reverse symbol effect and I clicked generate. And then I downloaded it as a WAV file and imported that into my video. But you'll also notice that there was music. And for this, I also used 11 labs. And so here we clicked on music and then I just simply generated the style of music that I wanted to hear in my project. And so here I could describe something like dynamic tech intro arpeggiated background music and then simply click generate. And 11 Labs then creates a music based on the prompt that I gave it. And so if we listen back to it, So as you can see, that sounds like it could fit perfectly into our project, but the magic is getting the timing right with the editing and matching it up perfectly with the video title screen that we've just made. So here we can simply go ahead and download it and then download it as a WAV file, just like we did with the sound effects, because that is the highest quality audio file. Then we go back into our project and just to show you how it's done here, I'm going to delete the music track and I'm going to import the one we've just made. And now here I want to time it with the change in the music and you want the music to appear before you actually see the title screen. And so let's move this forward a little bit. With AI. As you can see there, it didn't feel like it matched. So I want to match it up with this first kick, which is right here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to make a cut on the kick. And now I'm going to drag both of these and then sync it up exactly with the moment my title screen appears. And so now if we play it back, I'm going to show you exactly how to rank in LLMs with AI. It has a much more impactful effect when the title screen appears. And then the final thing you could do is actually just add a subtle audio fade into the beginning of the music. And then for the part where you want it just as background music, because you are talking in the video, you can actually maybe just reduce the gain by eight to 12 decibels. And that way, when you hear the music and the music changes on the video title screen, it's more impactful because it will be louder. So let's take a listen now. Exactly how to rank in LLMs with AI SEO. And then when it comes to leaving the title screen, again, you can add another reverse symbol effect and then make another cut. 
just here when it ends and then again reduce the gain and then maybe fade that out and so the end will sound like this. So this is the biggest shift in SEO. And that is how to create title screens for your videos using AI, thanks to ChatGPT, Google Imaging 4, Kling 2.5, and Eleven Labs. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.